Hello my friends and welcome to your daily dose of Brood of War. Today we're going to be taking a look at a sweet little ladder game from Speed here in the bottom left versus Queen. Speed aka TMF 10 minute flash here. I've been loving him. We've been watching him a lot. He's in the ASL this season. Queen is not. But he certainly deserves to be. He should absolutely be in there. He got knocked out in a very unfortunate series of events that you could check out if you want on Jinjin 5000's channel. He did a deep dive there or a translated video of Queen explaining his results in the ASL qualifier, which was quite hilarious, by the way. Quite a funny video, so shout out to Jinjin. His quality Brood War translations. Queen should be the favorite here. Despite not being the ASL, Speed is for the first time, I believe. Might have been in there one other time. I cannot remember right now, but I think this is going to be a good run for him. I have a good feeling, guys. I have... I've got a feeling that this season... It's going to be good for him. And we're going to start out with a wall in here. I've really been loving the uh, way that Speed approaches this matchup in particular. It's been a lot of fun. A lot of fun to watch. A lot of fun to cast. And he plays a ton of games on ladder, man. A lot of games on ladder. That's what we've noticed from a lot of these newer players. The players who are, you know, not as big, not as huge in the Brood War scene. They tend to play a lot more ladder games. And I was feeling a little bit of lag in the game. So I turned on the fans to my computer to make sure that we're not overheating here I felt like uh, I saw some some stuttering in this replay but hopefully that's been resolved gonna go ahead and get our CC and what are we gonna follow up with here straight on into barracks before the second yeah or before the gas here in the main second barracks before gas a two racks play going to come out of speed. Now, I'm really interested to see when he takes this gas and what he's going to end up doing with it. We're grabbing the gas. Are we going to see a double eBay? It was a fun build that we saw just for a short period of time. He's ready to start something here. Academy. So just a pure two, uh, two, two racks pressure play out of speed interesting not what i was expecting but the standard play here from speed we'll see how that works out for him looking on queen side of the map nothing really out of the ordinary here for him he's being very skimpy on his lings only producing a couple of lings total with a hatchery and a spire on the way here. Pretty well timed as well. Just four minutes and five seconds. He's already got these down. Going to have a pretty sweet mutilist timing here. With that 2.5 hatch. One SCV hiding over there at the 12 o'clock. And just great mineral uh, saturation here. Mineral uh, optimization out of speed. Or out of Queen, excuse me. In order to get this out as quickly as possible. It's pretty hard to get at exactly this time. And we're going to see like close to six minutes. We will have Mutalus on the field. Potentially up to nine Mutalus on the field here. You can see his gas is rising towards that 900. And without much pressure coming. He's not really being forced to do anything. I don't think he's actually able to see that though. Was he? Maybe he saw it going through this way. 
Maybe he saw the Marines moving through here. I'm not 100% sure, but he's got two sunken colonies on the way. So that's telling me that he is uh, aware of this. Now, six meters on the way here. That's a lot of that comes down to the uh, forcing of these two sunken colonies. He will get up to that eight count now. And speed just going to back off with this army. He's not ready to commit here. Just wants to force out the sunken colonies. And we'll be backing off for now. Now we should see a drone coming out here soon. In order to take this third base. You might want to take it here. Taking it up here is a little bit better for the long term play. If you want to go into uh, some lurker play in the future. But. We'll see if that's on the mind here for Queen Queen. Sharking around the right hand side here has a pretty good count of Mita with eight Mita. And definitely one shot SCVs. Even if you lose one of those on a dive, you can still continue to one shot. So he is going to go for the dive play here. Three SCVs, four SCVs have gone down so far. We'll be backing out now coming back around another few SCVs going to go down here. He's found a weak spot in the defenses of speed right here not that well covered by turrets they could come to abuse that area once again good job by queen coming in to get some more kills it's something that i've been experimenting a lot recently uh with is uh utilizing more move commands and it feels like that's what he's doing here uh the the kind of common knowledge the uh, accepted way of playing that's been around for a long time is using a clicks flying in and trying to a click or trying to use hold position alternatively if something's chasing you like scourge you can use uh, patrol click but another great way to micro is with movement click if you movement click and then right click right after you move click on top of a unit and then right click it orients all your mutas towards the unit that you're trying to target and then you right click, it immediately fires and all of your mutalists should be able to fire at the same time. Losing an overlord out here on the map is really tough for queen. That hurts a lot. When you're supply blocked at this point, you're trying to pump muta and, and hold on against this bio force that's moving forward. Uh, it really, really does hurt to be losing overlords at this point. Another overlord gonna go down? Oh no. He's not even going to be able to produce anything for a long time here. Three overlords now. You can see the panic from Queen as he adds on those additional three over overlords here. He can't produce anything once again. He was only able to make two pairs of lings. That's it. Two pairs of lings. This is an oversight from Queen for sure. He should have had more overlords on the way, but he just didn't. Now he's going to potentially lose his third base. Speed, making a good play for himself, making uh, making some headway here over at this base. And we're going to have to trade out less than completely efficiently here. If he wants to save this base, he's not going to save it. And he's going to trade out not efficiently, which is the worst case scenario. He even loses an overlord here. Oh my goodness. Speed in a great spot. He loses his whole bio force. Which is, of course, painful. But he's got another full force here at the natural. Starting to move out right now. He's got the potential for Valkyrie coming up here right now. Eight drones going to be on the way here for Queen. He wants to re-drone. Try to take a third base once again. There it is. A fourth at the same time is going to come up here. Can he get both gases online? And make his way into Hive? Or is he going to be overwhelmed by speed? Well... Right now, speed moving too far forward here. He's going to lose all his medics and his marines. Medics here and marines in the natural. Sorry, no medics, just marines in the natural. Need to pop out a couple medics actually to allow these to fight. Man, it's really a shame that speed decided to move out just then. Because he was pretty well buttoned down at home and he has a Valkyrie on the way. If he'd waited for the Valkyrie timing to come out here, he should have had a good opportunity to push across the map. But now he's just got a Valkyrie out here. He's lost his supply depot as well. Queen is starting to 
push back a little bit here. He's starting to make some space for himself on the map. He's got that upgrade on the way. He's got Lurker coming here. There's the Carapace. Second Valkyrie about to pop. And this is when Valkyries get pretty scary. Two to three Valkyries does get a little bit rough for the Zerg player. If they're trying to play Mita, they're going to have a real struggle. Coming in here towards the natural. Is he going to be able to get this Valkyrie? Valkyrie almost getting picked off there. Dropping down to just 24 HP. Valkyrie here. Waiting for a volley as well. Looks like it might have gotten one kill on an overlord there. And we do finally have the third gas online. Very important that we get this online. We actually need to get this online too. I'm surprised we're seeing creep colony coming up here. I feel like... If you're double expanding right now, you're not... You, there's no way you have enough to defend all your bases. You need to be aggressive right now as queen. You need to go and attack and force the Terran back. You cannot sit back with sunken colonies and lurkers and try to hold on. I, don't, I just don't think that's going to end up working out for you. But I could be wrong. We'll see how queen... Handles the situation if he's confident in his defense. There we go. We're going to bring the Lurkers forward here. We don't have a Science Vessel with this yet. So there is opportunity to maybe get some sort of Lurker. No, he does do the scan there. I was going to say some sort of Lurker surprise play. Like a landmine, Lurker landmine, Lurker hold position. Is that going to be possible? I don't think so. Speed a little bit too aware of what's going on here. He's going to try and run up this ramp, though. Oh, my God. Breaking the knees. Breaking the legs of those Scourge there. Bouncing back and forth. He manages to keep both of the Valkyrie alive. Now we've got a Vessel here as well. They're just going to come from the north. Trying to surround these Marines and Medics. It is a small group of Marine Medic. You don't want to be too overly aggressive with this and end up losing that third fourth gas should be coming online here there it is fourth gas gonna come online that is a big moment for queen with the four gas he can definitely afford to take fights here just needs to get into a ultraless cavern pretty soon bringing back the muta to defend any drops that might be coming in and Speed just going to rotate, I guess. Maybe head up towards this base. So pretty well defended over here. I think he'd love to get up on this high ground right now. Lurkers are going to burrow, though. You do have to back away from that. Finally, a, an Irradiate coming down. Can he actually save that? Does save the vessel. Really, really close there. Radiate's going to deal that damage. Should be able to pick off one of those Lurkers, but... Not enough for Radiates to push through this many Lurkers right now. He really does have to be careful here. Lurkers, more of them being morphed. Over at the 12 o'clock, we've got Lurkers pushing forward here. And this is a very aggressive position, right? We're being hyper-aggressive with our Lurkers, making sure that, they, that the Marines can't get up onto this high ground without a lot of lurkers being there to prevent them valkyries is going to be sent in now there are they're going to lose their lives to some uh scourge here that's unfortunate but speed's managed to get around the top side and there's nothing here to prevent him from moving forward a couple of irradiates going to go down right now on these lurkers we only have the three with only the three Lurker, it's going to be hard to defend that. But with Dark Swarm now coming online, I think that Queen can hold these four bases relatively easily. Speed pushing forward once again. But Queen with the double expanse worked out very, very well. One Lurker under the Dark Swarm there. Dealing a lot of damage, but not enough. Not enough damage to kill this. He's going to target down the Atchery. Hatchery is being right-clicked right now. Lurkers come up, but the hatchery goes down. Marines are going to fall here. But more Marines walking up this ramp and just getting annihilated by these Lurkers. That is pretty rough. 10 kill and 4 kill here on these two Lurkers. Absolutely brutal. A Oh my god, how many kills did he get with that? That's crazy. 
Gonna get a lot more here in the main. Oh my god. Queen not paying attention at all to this vessel. And the vessel just got insane amount of kills. We'll have to go picture in picture with that to just see how much he actually managed to kill there. Speed doing a good amount of economic damage while taking a third base of his own. And he managed to kill the fourth over here at the top center. I guess this was the third technically. But we can still play a pretty good game as queen on just three bases. As long as we have defilers and hydras, we should be able to take a pretty okay fight. It's like this defiler is going to end up going down. He does get one more consume and a dark storm will be laid on the high ground. Lurker and Hydra making their way over to... Or Lurker, Lurker and the Defiler making its way over towards this third base. He's going to try and get a Dark Swarm here right in natural. Ooh, he sees Dropship heading out on the map. That's a really big uh, pickup on the vision there. Being able to see those two drops heading out on the map is huge. Lurker's here. Blocking off the ability to take a third base right now for speed. Speed not able to grow at the moment. That's a lot of lur or a lot of muta ready to fight this. Lurker's coming around the, the the side here, trying to irradiate right now. Speed running out of fumes right now. He's running out of energy here. He may be getting taken down relatively soon. Dark Swarm just gonna completely cuck this. Oh, drop in the main, but. Unfortunately, going to be picked off by all of these Demutas. That's rough. Speed going to lose his entire dropping force. He's coming out here, trying to clean this up. A lot of fire bats now making their way onto the, the field here for Speed. He will now secure this third base. I think no doubt about it. He's going to be able to snag this at this point for sure. But another Defiler coming up here. Another... Dark Storm going down. Lurker. Going to be irradiated along with the Defiler. Another Dark Storm coming down. We got to have Fire Bats here. Fire Bats have to run up and block this. Start to kill off some of these Lurkers. No, he cancels the third base again. After so many hardships here. After so many difficult... Uh, after so many difficulties, I guess Queen is just light years ahead at this point. He's managed to make his way to a huge supply advantage. And with just pure strength in macro. Queen able to finesse his way back into this game. Which was honestly not a great situation from the beginning for him. Speed is drowning now. Under the weight of Zerg. That's kind of shoving its way towards him over and over again. Preventing him from taking more bases. Preventing him from growing. Looks like this Defiler. Gonna get taken out here, but can he get a good Plague? There it is. No. No good Plague there on all those Marines and Medics, unfortunately. Pushing forward here once again. Another Dark Storm gets thrown down. Another Plague should follow. Big Plague on all the vessels. Oh my goodness. Vessels going down on mass. Single fire bat here. Going to be able to take this position, but vessels are falling. Marines are being shoved back here. More vessels going down. All these plagued vessels so ripe for the picking here. And now Ultra making their run onto the field. Plus four armor. There is plus three attack for the Marines. So at least speed's been keeping up on the attack upgrades. But these ultras are still going to be hard to break through with this low number of marines. Is barely going to be able to take this fight, I think. And GG is finally called. Speed taps out. And Queen is victorious. Really well done by Queen. To make this one a real game. To bring this one back from the brink. After losing this base twice. He lost this base twice. He double expanded and managed to get the fourth gas online. Was he actually? Oh, oops. I'm not sure if he was actually mining fully on that gas there, but 
I believe that he was, and he put up a great fight here against Speed. Speed had an excellent opener, as usual. You know, that's that's the MO of Speed. Have a great opener. The first 10 minutes of the game go fantastically and fall apart pretty much after the first 10 minutes. That's probably what we're going to see in ASL as well. It's always a fun. It's always it's always fun. It's always a pleasure to watch Speed play. And guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. I appreciate you. We're going to be doing some great things on stream here coming up. We've got the North America StarCraft Masters, which we're going to be commentating the group stages of, and Artosis will be commentating the later parts of that series. The semifinals and the finals will be put together by him. He's the organizer. Mooney is the sponsor so that's going to be coming up very soon definitely check out the twitch channel and of course check me out on youtube the live videos as well guys that's all for today and i'll see you tomorrow